For example, I have this amount. If I was to flip it over on its side, will it spill or not? All right, so for this prank, we're gonna cause our teachers to break their own pencil. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> What's up, pranksters? Welcome back. Welcome back to another prank video. Now in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to pull off five pranks, five extreme pranks on your teachers. Whether you like them or hate them, nobody's off limits when it comes to pranks. So in this video, we're gonna be showing some tough love to our teachers. We're gonna be pranking them. Now before we begin, let's make sure that you guys are subscribed to this channel with all the bell notifications turned on. That way you guys don't miss out on future videos. Let's get these pranks going. A thousand likes are appreciated. Check it out. For this prank, you're gonna need a tray of crayons like the ones I have right here. Now this is the top of a pencil case. So I've got crayons here, guys, and we're gonna make these go all over the place. So our teachers are gonna have to stay a little bit late to clean up this mess. Okay, so you don't have to use crayons. You guys can use anything else, maybe something smaller in large quantities, so it'll be even messier. I'm just gonna go with crayons, because I thought it would look cool. For this prank, you're also gonna need a rubber band. So let's go ahead and cut it, just like that. We're gonna tie knots on both ends, and these are just for better grip. Now one end, we're gonna tie or tape on to the tray. So whatever you guys use, that could be a paper plate, that could be a piece of paper, whatever it is guys, either tape it or tie it on, which is what I'm gonna do. All right, that works. It's not too visible, but it'll do. You guys can see it's not that visible, and even if they do see it, they won't think much of it. Now the other end of the rubber band, we're gonna attach to an edge of a table, so if it's on their desk, even better. Attach it like I'm doing so right here, guys. Make sure it hangs a little from the bottom, and of course, we'll be using tape for that. Clear tape is the best, as always. All right, that works. Okay, guys, then we're gonna put the tray close to the edge. Pretend like it's gonna fall. So that way when they see the tray and it looks like it's gonna fall off the table, they're gonna try to reposition it, either push it forward or pick it up. Regardless though, guys, the rubber band will pull back the tray with crayons and it's gonna cause a mess. Just watch. Huh, what is this doing here? It's about to fall. Let me pick it up. <laughs> so that's what's gonna happen, guys. The rubber band was actually stronger and it pulled it back as soon as I picked it up. So that's the prank, guys. Again, you guys can use anything. It doesn't have to be crayons. It can be oats, it can be beans, it can be rice. The smaller, the better. And the larger quantity, the bigger mess. All right, let's look through their pencil cup. And what I have right here is a pencil. Now, what makes this pencil different from other pencils is the fact that it has a pencil grip or a pencil cushion. This right here is meant for comfort. So if your teacher's write for long periods of time, of course, their fingers are gonna start hurting. So this will make it more bearable to write. Well, we're gonna prank them in a really evil way. If you notice, the pencil grip is always positioned close to the tip. You're not gonna find the pencil grip in the middle or close to the eraser. It's always gonna be close to the lead. You know, it makes sense because that's the spot you usually hold. So, what we're gonna do first here is we're gonna pull out the pencil grip. And guess what, guys? We're gonna add a little glue. So apply some glue inside of the pencil grip. All right, perfect. And then you're gonna slide the pencil back in the pencil grip. Now, it's gonna be a little bit hard, so do this fast because it's gonna dry quickly, depending on the type of glue that you use. Now, once this dries, guys, it's gonna be impossible to remove. And guess what? They have to remove it if they wanna sharpen their pencil next time because the pencil will only keep getting smaller and smaller and it's gonna get to the point where they have to remove this pencil grip. It'll be impossible because of the glue. So they're gonna struggle with this pencil and they're gonna be super upset that they can't pull out the pencil grip. All right, so for this prank, we're gonna cause our teachers to break their own pencil. So try to get their best looking pencil from their pencil cup. And uh, this one is actually brand new. It's never been used, so that is perfect for this prank. You're also gonna need some scissors, guys, and some tape. 
first we're gonna take the scissors and uh, find a good spot where you guys want them to break their pencil. So if you guys want them to break it down the middle, so basically in half, just begin carving out an outline around the pencil with the scissors. Just like I'm doing so right here, just position the pencil between the scissors and start rotating it just like that. All right, that works guys, look at that. Now we're gonna place the pencil on their desk. Yeah, you can clearly see the line, but they won't think much of that when you guys place the tape. And the tape is gonna go right along that line. Now the stronger the tape, the better. I would use two strips. All right, so the prank is set guys. Your teacher's gonna come over to his or her desk and they're gonna see that the pencil's taped on to the desk. And they're gonna be like, well, haha, <laughs> what a lame prank. So they can either peel off the tape off the desk or they can pull the pencil and pull off everything all together. And when they do pull on the pencil, this is what's gonna happen. <laughs> it's gonna break in two. And that is definitely something that they didn't intend to do. But at least they have some tape here that they can use to attach both pieces back together. <laughs> when your teacher is not looking, guys, you're going to go to their desk and you're going to grab their pencil cup. Now, this prank you guys can pull off so quickly, but you got to be fast about it. Make sure nobody's looking, guys. For this prank, you're also going to need a small little cup like this one. Here's what you do. So your teacher's probably in the restroom. They're gonna be there for a couple minutes. You gotta act fast. If they have more pencils in there, even better. But this will do. Take the cup, guys. I'm gonna add a little bit of food coloring. And then I'm gonna fill it up with some water. Just like that. All right, that'll do. Put the cup in by itself and then start putting pencils on top just to cover the cup so that it's not seen. All right, and the prank is set, guys. They can't really see that the cup is in there unless they already know. So when they come over to their desk and see the cup on its side, their instinct is gonna be to pick it up. So when they do that, guys, this is what's gonna happen. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> automatic spill now that's a mess that nobody wants to clean up i just can't stop using this book as much as i don't like this book i keep using it in a lot of the pranks that i've been showing you guys so again we're going to be using this for our demonstration because we're going to pull off a book prank on our teachers yes it is quite messy guys so i don't really recommend you guys try this prank out it's just for fun but if you were that evil like i am this is what you guys would do of course we're going to be using the book but we're also going to need a water bottle for right now, I have this water bottle here and it's empty. And that is best for now, but we are gonna fill it up. But first, let's set it up. So you're gonna have your book and it's gonna be standing like you see right here, guys. We are gonna take a water bottle. We're gonna open it up and then, and then we're gonna leave it on its side like so. Make sure that the book is covering it though from the other angle. Now, once it's laid flat on there, we're gonna take some tape and attach it onto the book. So here's one side. Okay. And we're also gonna do the bottom. You might wanna lift up the book cover. And that is it, guys. At this point, we're gonna fill it up with water. But not before we add a little food coloring and one drop will do. Don't add too much water. I'm gonna add just enough Make sure that when you flip it over, there will be no spills whatsoever. For example, I have this amount. If I was to flip it over on its side, will it spill or not? Nope. I put just the right amount of water on there. So now the prank is set, guys. Just leave it somewhere, but make sure that your victim's view is this. Like that. So they can't see the water bottle in the back. So when they pick up this book, of course, it's gonna cause a spill. Whoever comes and picks up this book, they're gonna grab it, pick it up, and, and cause that spill. See? 
That's what happens. And those are five pranks you guys can pull off on your teachers at school. Hopefully these don't get you in trouble. Well, they are kind of extreme. So make sure you prank with caution or not do these at all. These were just for fun anyway. But if you want to prank your teachers, now you guys know how. If you want to see more pranks like these, you guys know I have lots more at my channel. So check them out, youtube.com slash nextraker. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I'll see you pranksters in my next video. It's on the bulb and this is what's going to happen. Right? <laughs> so let's say they're trying to keep this notebook together and it has some valuable information on it. So they'll just grab the binder clip and put it on there. <laughs> Did you see that? It actually squirted out. It's just gonna pick up the scissors and just throw them in there and this is what's gonna happen.